What's going on YouTube? So when you think of Subaru, chances are the first thing you think of is the Outback, which has been a very popular product for decades now. For the 2022 model year, Subaru is continuing to build on the success of this recently redesigned Outback with additional standard equipment and even an all new rugged wilderness model. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the review and see what's new and what has made this such a popular product. So walking up to this Outback, of course, this really just has an unmistakable look that looks like an Outback and really nothing else. And that does carry forward for the 2022 model year. Now at the intro, I did mention there is a new wilderness model that looks substantially different from this model. So we will be covering that in a separate review. Uh, but of course that just is the more rugged trim level. Now taking a look here at the limited trim, as well as the majority of them, you have this Nice and clean and simple front Subaru grill here with the silver accent. This would be darkened out if you choose the Onyx edition. And then of course you have the really chunky and rugged looking lower bumper here uh, with the silver accent down here at the bottom and 8.7 inches of ground clearance, which is very good since this is an outdoorsy vehicle. Now let's come over here to the lighting. This is a very premium and nice touch that Subaru has included because you have LED adaptive lighting as standard equipment on every Outback. So like I said, that's a very cool touch. And in addition to that, we have an update with the LED fog lamps. These are actually gonna be included on every single trim level for 2022. Now coming down here to your wheels, you do have a 17 inch alloy standard on the base and the premium models. And then as you upgrade, you have an 18 inch contrast alloy that you see here on your limited and your touring models. The Onyx edition has this, but blacked out. And then moving up here to your mirrors, you have this nice chrome accent that extends onto them. Uh, blind spot monitoring is gonna be standard on the limited and touring available on your lower end trim levels. And then we also have the optional auto dimming and projection abilities on this mirror. All right, so here at the side, of course, the Outback is unmistakable for its design. It looks like an Outback. And as far as what kind of goes into that, you have this rugged black trim going across all the wheel arches, and you also have these really thick roof rails up top that give it that rugged off-road look. Now coming around to the rear design itself, there's not gonna be anything different for 2022. So you're gonna have the signature Outback look. You have these big pieces of black uh, cladding right here. And then as far as the tail lights, are concerned. These are going to be partially LED. Your brake light as well as the accenting is LED. However, the turn signal and reverse light are both incandescent. Then if we drop down here to the bottom, we do have this nice silver accent to help kind of break up the black cladding. Now, one of the really nice things about going for a Subaru is, of course, safety is at the forefront. So they're going to uh, throw in all of your safety systems as standard equipment. So that's going to be forward emergency braking with pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, as well as auto high beam headlamps. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up the exterior design of this outdoorsy Outback, but now let's go ahead and check out the inside where I know they put a lot of luxury. And before you do that, what would really make my day is if you hit that subscribe button down below, it's completely free to you, and it really provides us with a lot more opportunities. So please, please do that. So standard on the Outback Limited and all the XT trims will be a smart entry system with this key fob. And then of course to get inside the vehicle when you have that system, just reach behind the handle and it will unlock the door. All right, and taking a look inside of the cabin, um, of course you're going to see that uh, typical, very premium and nice Outback look. There's not really any huge changes for 2022 except for that new wilderness model which we will talk about in a dedicated separate review. And now let's talk about our different interior color and material options in which there are a lot. 
So your base and your premium trims have cloth seating, Onyx Edition, Star Tex, Leatherette. Limited has leather and the Touring has Napa leather. Now, as far as your color choices, most of the trim levels are gonna have slate black, titanium gray, or warm ivory. Um, however, just the Touring comes with Java Brown. Now turning over here to your door trim, it is very nicely finished. We have a leather material covering the entire armrest, all of this center part with a stitching detail, and then the top part is soft touch. Got a piano black accent, chrome finished door handle. Of course, we have two-person memory seating on this limited and the touring, and then all four of the windows are one-touch auto up and down. Checking out the seats here, Subaru is nicely including a 10-way power adjusting seat with two-way lumbar on all but the base model. And we even have a manual thigh extension, which is a nice touch. And then as far as the seats themselves, always a big fan of Subaru seats, and this is no exception. Since we have the Limited, this is a real leather. And as you can see, it has a very attractive stitching design, lots of perforation, and it's extremely comfortable to set in. So ever since this Outback was fully redesigned, it has had a very nice cabin, and that does continue this year. So across our upper dashboard, this is all finished in a high quality soft touch plastic. And as we move to our middle areas, this is all finished in a leatherette material with a stitching detail that goes all around the screens. Down below, you have some more leatherette. You have some piano black accents through here as well as here. And you also have some more leatherette that runs along the console for your knee to rest against. Of course, everything in here, as you can see, fits together very nicely, even though this is a pretty complicated design. Now to start it up, put your foot on the brake and press the button. And after you start it up, you'll be greeted with this gauge cluster on every version of the Outback. As you can see, very simple and clean look to it with two analog gauges. Then you have a 4.2 inch multi-function display right there in the middle. And of course, you can use the steering wheel controls to cycle between some information and then as you remember from a lot of other Subaru products, they would have the secondary display that sets up here on top. With the new version of the Outback, they integrate that right into this main display, so you can cycle between some additional information, including turning on and off your X mode, you've got some information about off-roading, weather, just basically all the extra stuff that doesn't fit inside of that display. And then this right here on the top, this is for your driver monitoring system, which reminds you if you've lost focus. All right, now pulling back here to the steering wheel. So long as you choose anything except the base model, you'll get this very nice leather wrapped steering wheel with the color contrast stitching details. As you can see, it's got the newest Subaru design. It's gonna be manual tilt and telescoping, and then it is heated on the top end touring model, or we have it optional on this Limited. Okay, so let's dig into interior storage next. Let's start out underneath our center console here. You open it up you have a little storage area on top then you can open up the broader amount of storage this is pretty nice good and deep there is a felt lining in there as well and a 12 volt outlet and that's how our coupons fit so it looks like they're going to fit in there just fine up in front of that we've got two cup holders with an adjustable uh, height and then up in the very front here we have a a uh, little storage cubby here. It looks kind of small, but it's actually very large. It goes all the way back so you can stick your entire phone in there. And then you've also got two USB ports and an aux jack. All right, now pulling back to the shifter. It's a very simple uh, to use shifter. Of course, just pull back for drive. You can bump to the left if you want to shift manually with the standard paddle shifters. And then heading into reverse, you'll be greeted with this standard backup camera. As you can see, we do have active trajectory, really nice resolution as well. Now there is no 360 degree camera option on this Outback. However, if you get the Onyx edition or the touring model, that, that has a front facing camera, which is good for parking as well as off-roading. And then when you put the vehicle into reverse, the mirrors will tilt down to help you see the parking lines better. And then right there is your electronic parking brake. 
But now let's go ahead and move into the display, which is really a dominating feature inside of this Outback since there's a lot of different functions inside of it. So on the base model, that's gonna come with a dual seven inch display configuration. However, if you choose anything besides for that, you're gonna get this really large 11.6 inch uh, touch display. Now inside of this, you have, like I said, several different functions. I'm gonna start with climate control. So you have a dual zone automatic climate control set up for the premium and above. You do have physical controls on the side to adjust your temperature very easily like that. The rest of the things you just adjust inside of the screen. So you can adjust your zones like that. You can of course adjust the temperature as well. And Subaru does point out that this has separate processing from the rest of the infotainment system. So that is designed to keep things nice and speedy, especially when you first start up the system. Clicking there will also bring you to your three stage seat heating. This is also included on the premium trim and above. And if you want seat ventilation, that will be on the top end touring. As we move above that, we have our volume knob. So with the limited and the touring trim levels, those are gonna come with the upgraded 576 watt 12 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. And we're gonna go ahead and give that a sample right now. Wow, so overall sound quality of this system is definitely top notch. All right, so now we are into our main Starlink system. Like I already pointed out, you have your little uh, secondary display up there, which remains throughout the system. And then all the rest of the stuff lives right here in the middle section. So clicking into our navigation map, it is powered by TomTom. Tom. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Of course, you are also gonna have standard Apple CarPlay and standard Android Auto as well. Now I am also noticing a software update for this 2022 model. And that's the fact that the auto start stop system now has its own dedicated button right here next to the home screen. So you can turn that on and off uh, more easily. Previously that would require going into this menu here and then changing it inside of here. Uh, but Subaru has added that now, I guess, since uh, you know people want to be able to turn that on and off easily, now you can do that. And as we move up above here, we have an auto dimming mirror with your Homelink Universal Remotes and Compass on the limited and above. And then finally up here on the roof, as you can see, we do have a standard size sunroof. Uh, this is going to be included on the 2.5 touring trim levels. Uh, it's optional on this 2.5 limited and then all of the XT limited and tourings will have it. So welcome to the Outback's rear seat. And back here, I'm very, very impressed and comfortable as always when I get into an Outback because this is really just very spacious, uh, wagon crossover type thing uh, and it has a lot of room for your family. So let's talk about that space figure first. We have 40 inches of rear legroom, 39 inches of rear headroom, which is essentially the same as the Subaru Forester and it's right on par with uh, you know stuff like a Nissan Murano or a Hyundai Santa Fe. Behind your seating position I have I would say a solid six inches of rear legroom and my feet can slide up underneath the seat. Now, turning our attention towards the features, we do have a 2022 change, and that's going to be that the premium trim now gets rear vents here in the middle, which is a nice touch. If we drop below that, we do have two charging USB ports, and then if you go for a limited or touring model, you will also have heated rear seats. And then if we drop down the central armrest, there's cup holders inside. Now walking up to the tailgate, you do have a hands-free power one on the limited and touring trims. In order to open, just put your hand next to the Subaru emblem and it will open right up. Now, as far as the space itself is concerned, you're gonna be looking at 33 cubic feet behind the second row seats. If you fold it, it goes all the way up to 76 cubic feet. Uh, that's a lot of space. It's right on par with that of the Subaru Forester, as well as the main uh, competition, if you call it that, um, that I mentioned earlier. And it is finished very nicely back here as well. We have a cargo cover up top. And then off to the right side, we have a net. We can fold the seat 60-40 split. 
and on the floor we have a nice carpeting and then if we lift it up we do have a spare tire now another nice touch is that we do have a power adjusting passenger seat then if we open up the glove box it is really really nicely felt lined it's also dampened and as far as how the coupons fit in uh, they do fit in there just fine um, there's even like a dedicated tray back here for them that it kind of sinks in and very impressed with that and we also have this little storage cubby right above that then up top we have a sun visor with lighting as well as a mirror and we can also detach it as well as extend it So there is a acceleration with this 2022 Subaru Outback. Uh, what we have on board today is the standard engine. This is what the vast majority of Outbacks will be equipped with. It's the two and a half liter boxer four cylinder making 182 horsepower, 176 pound feet of torque. Definitely feels more than adequate. I would say the majority of people will be totally satisfied with it. But of course, as with the last two model years you have yeah. the xt version available if you want more power i believe it's 260 horsepower so from the turbocharged 2.4 liter boxer form um, and that's available as an option on your top two trims and the standard on the xt or the onyx edition and the wilderness model yeah and we have driven that one a few times so if you're more concerned about the power that is a really really great engine but like Drew said, this is more than adequate for the average Outback owner. Sure. Um, by any means, when you get into a vehicle like this, I don't think you expect it to be super fast or anything like that. So this is perfectly fine. Right, and this has a continuously variable transmission no matter which engine you choose. The nice thing about it uh, with in this application is that it uh, is tuned to be very responsive when you first start off. So I feel like when you uh, put your foot down, it feels very spunky when you first take off, um, no matter which engine that you choose. Quite nice. You also notice that the CVT does have the shift simulation as well, so it gives it a you know more conventional feel when you're behind the wheel. Yeah, and it is going to have standard all-wheel drive as you would expect out of a Subaru. And as far as the fuel economy is going to be concerned, that's going to put your fuel economy at 26, 33, 29 for this regular engine. If you go for the XT, it's going to be reduced down to 26 combined. And now that we're up to around 55 miles an hour, let's get a sound sample. We're sitting at 55 even. That's a really good reading and from seeing my pants, it certainly f seems very quiet inside of this cabin. It's also just really amazingly comfortable. Uh, we've always been a fan of the way this Outback drives i mean it's just i mean it's really really comfortable the seats are amazing you just feel like you melt in them mm -hmm. and um, really honestly for the price point you can't get much more comfortable than this right and that actually is going to be today's slam dunk is just the price point of this and we'll talk about the pricing a little bit but specifically this limited with we actually have some options and everything and we're setting at thirty-seven thousand and some dollars yeah which is really a great value because the class below a smaller vehicle than this usually costs about that much money. Yeah. Now, as far as the pricing of the rest of them, the 2.5i base is gonna start at 26,945 bucks. And then if you go all the way up to the XT Touring, the highest dollar one you can get, that's gonna be a touch under 40,000 at 39. 945 uh, so really this is not much more expensive than a uh, Forester it's honestly about the same price mm -hmm. <laughs> and as far as our airball is concerned um, we really had a very difficult time coming up with something 
to airball because this car is a very well-rounded package. Um, but one thing that I maybe would like to see, at least on the touring, maybe not in this particular example, is maybe a panoramic moonroof. There's a lot of a lot of space up here on the top, mm -hmm. and panoramic moonroof would be nice. I do know that maybe Subaru says the roof rails are in packaging and stuff like that is the reason for that, but I would like to see it as maybe an option. And that was your auto start stop system working right there. But uh, to conclude here, this Outback, you know, since it was redesigned, has really just upped the, uh, you know, luxury factor and everything that the Outback is about as well. You still have that wonderful outdoorsy feel, the uh, capability of the Outback, all the space that you uh, could want, and like I said, a really good price point as well. So this just remains a very strong uh, crossover wagon utility vehicle. And, uh, you know, as they continue to refine it and make more updates each and every year, it only gets better. Well, guys, that's going to be all for this in-depth review of the 2022 Subaru Outback Limited. If you made it this far in the video, hopefully that means you enjoyed watching. So be sure to help us out by hitting that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to you and it really helps us out. It gives us a lot more opportunities to film cool cars as well as to get early access to vehicles that you all want us to review. So be sure to do that. Do your part, subscribe, and we will get better content coming to you. Anyway, we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.